okay so they are really thirsty and they are all over the place let me start putting this down Okay, so this is the vaccine I got. Um, alongside the Lasota vaccine, I also got a uh, distemper vaccine for my dog. So I'm going to use that very soon. So this is the Lasota, but this is 250 doses. Let me make sure you see that. Okay, let's see. Okay, 250 doses. That's 250 doses there. All right, yeah. Oh, this thing is so cold. Oh, so right here I have about 120 chips that I want to administer it to. So, what I'll do is I'll just divide it into two. I'll divide this whole thing into two and I'll administer half of it to them. But before then, we need to take care of the chlorine inside the water we are using. And um, for that, I'll be putting this powdered milk. You want to ensure that you are getting full cream milk, so preferably you use this. Dano has full cream too, but their cool cow is, is cheaper and a lot of people will be tempted to get the cool cow. This is better. So for this quantity of water, I'm not going to be using everything. I just need some. This is enough already. So we'll will allow this will allow this to react in the water and um, take care of the chlorine this is the process we use to remove chlorine from water so it's just going to be it's just going to stay there for a few minutes and then i'll take the water there from this same container i'll use it to divide the vaccine into two so I'll do that before you in a few minutes. So since I'm dividing this vaccine into two, I'll be using just 10 mils of water to do so. So I'm taking this empty container. I would um, take 10 mils from here, put it here with the vaccine, then take five mils. And that's the, it's the five mils I'm going to be wasting and we'll use the remaining, we'll add the remaining five mils to this one. So for that, let's use this uh, syringe to first get the vaccine out of the vial, the bottle. The bottle is empty now. So I'm not sure this is up to five mils. It's not up to five mils because I looked at the bottle, I saw it was not going to take up the five mils. So I'll balance it. Yeah, this is five mils now. So I'm putting the five mils here. I'll take five more mils. This is another five mils. So this is the whole 250 doses of vaccine. So I'm just going to be taking the portion for half. That's five mils now. If 10 mils is 250 mil, uh, 250 doses. If 10 mils is 250 doses, then five will do for 125. So this is five, and we're going to be throwing away this other part. You can choose to use. A higher volume of water but i just feel there's no need for that there's no need for that so this is it and um i'm going to be adding this now into the water that we are using for the birds so this is now the vaccine water and this one here is what i'm wasting away so i'm going to be throwing it away so and whenever you want to 
vaccinated. You want to ensure that you use more than the quantity of drinkers you would use on a normal day. This is to increase the access to water as quickly as possible. You want to ensure that all your chicks have access to water in no time. So right now, uh, we'll be using these four drinkers. And this water should be enough for them. <coughs> the way to measure it is actually 10 mils per chick at their first week. So since they are 8 days old, it should be enough for them. 10 mils of water for each bed. And we have about 120 chicks here. So that's 1 liter and 200 mils. This is, this should be a little over that quantity. So I'm going to be dividing as much as possible. Try to avoid spillage. We have just small quantity of water here, so I don't think we should spill anything. Okay. Okay. And this is the last one. Okay, so this water. The goal is to ensure that we drink everything within 30 minutes to 1 hour. 30 minutes to 1 hour. So, you also want to do this. It's also important that you turn, if it's a large house, for example, it's preferable that you turn everything, you turn all the drinkers at the same time. You don't turn one and walk slowly to go and turn the second one because you don't want the ones that are taking water from this one to finish and join the others and drink more and drink more. So you want every one of them to be evenly distributed uh, within a very short period of time. So uh, because this is a very small house, we won't have any problem with that. So. We can just move at our pace. But if it's a large house, you want to employ more hands so that you can move real fast. So let's quickly go and place this. Let's go and place this. Okay, so they are really thirsty and they are all over the place. Let me start putting this down quickly. Okay, so everyone should have their own. And this, so another thing you want to do at this stage is to monitor them keenly. You want to ensure that everyone takes their own portion of the meal, yeah, of the water now. So if you, can, if you look closely, you see that most of them are actually drinking. But then some of them are not drinking. Some of them are not drinking. And you want to take care of that. Okay, I'll just give them a few seconds before I move around to ensure that the ones that are not drinking are starting to drink. Let me remove this feeder. It's more like a distraction. For some of them, you may have to just take them, use their, put their beak in the water, so they have a part in it. So that's it. They are taking it. They are taking it. Some of them are actually hibernating because they are tired. Yeah, you see, once I put the mouth inside the water, it started to drink. Okay. You want to be careful with this so that you don't chase away even the ones that are drinking. So, the goal is to get most of them drinking. So, okay, start to drink, start to drink. Have your own. Yeah. So, you just want to do that. To ensure that most of them are drinking or all of them partake this is a very small 
house so everyone should have something yeah so two of the drinkers are, are out they have finished the vaccine from two of the drinkers and the other two are almost out so in another 10 minutes or so i should be removing it so the last thing you want to know or learn is that after vaccine you just give them plain water you can see this drinker is already set i'm just going to drop it once they finish with the water with the vaccine water so just plain water throughout the rest of the day and um, the following day you can give them multivitamin so just plain water for the rest of the day for these chicks and um, if you f spill any water on the floor you want to disinfect it try to disinfect that spot with um, a disinfectant a strong one so you don't by yourself breed virus on your farm so that's it guys that's it and good luck as you try on your hand i know you have gained a lot and you'll be able to replicate the same success we are getting here on your farm so once again i'm diy hagrick your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner if you're here to subscribe to the channel please do well to subscribe so you can continue to enjoy content like this and if you're here to hit that notification bell please do so so you get notified on our next upload thank you give us a thumbs up bye